Hey YouTube, this is Prosav, um, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a um, pretty nice uh, logo for uh, your YouTube account, anything like that. So, just want to open up Photoshop, and you want to click File New, Control N, uh, let's say it's the 500, higher 500. Uh, everything looks good, click OK and want to um, double click your background layer tap in BG, press enter and you then want to um, see get uh, your custom shape tool so hold, click and hold click and drag the uh, shape tool and drag down to the custom shape tool select this one here, it's not there, just click the drop down arrow, click all and click OK and you find it. Uh, you then want to make a new layer, or oh, actually no, we'll make one for you. So you want to uh, hold on shift and drag kind of here, down to here. Being a bit of laggy, um, so I just have to wait. Five seconds at least. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Um, my screen resolution is a bit funny, so I'm not sure if it will turn out like this on online or, or if it's just for me. But yeah, so it's kind of like an egg shape for me. But anyway, we're gonna hold down the control and press A. So you want to hold on control press A and then you want to hold on to basically similar. Hold on control press D to deselect and um, double click. Actually no you don't. You want to right click it and you want to click that stripes there. You want to double click it and you want to go and give it a gradient overlay. Click the gradient bar, double click the got black node. Um, put 205 up here. Put 25 here and 25 here. Uh, you then want to click the white node and make the location 50 <coughs> I'm going to click this and drag it and drag it here yeah. um, and you want to drag this make it 55 and you want to make, put another one there make it uh, 50 
myself so I can uh, oh, oh yeah, I have one save so I can just use this. Um, but yeah, something like that anyway. And I'm gonna just gonna change this background. Just click the foreground colour and put in here. No, 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 no. Center. And hold down on press backspace to fill it with the colour. And then you want to get your brush tool. Click here, click here, click here, click OK. And you want to select to size 500 and double it. So put in one and put O just to make it a thousand, yeah. And press D and X. And yeah, just put kind of the white kind of mark here. Maybe that's a bit too much, so I might want to make it to 750. <coughs> yeah, the flow up to 100. Yeah, that's nice. It doesn't really matter, so you're going to add a shadow here. Drop shadow, distance zero, or yeah, zero, size 15, looks right, or 10, I think. No, 15 looks okay. Um, do you then want to make a new layer and you want to get your magic wand tool? And if it's not there, remember click and drag onto the magic wand tool, click inside. Uh, control and click the new layer icon, press D, hold down and press backspace to fill it with black. Control and D, press D, double click it. <coughs> Give it a gradient overlay and make sure it's set to radial. Click the gradient bar, make the middle 205, 50, 100, and make the white a dark colour. Maybe the 2.5 thing again. Increase. Let's put the scale up to 50. You might actually want to make this a little bit. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Um, 75. Yeah, that looks right. Because you're going to add a <coughs> in again glow now. So click in the glow. Put the socks to centre. Make it white. Dodge, make it up to 125, uh, 250. Mm. Oh, sorry. And you want to make a new layer again. Actually, don't get your text tool. <laughs> and I've I've used a um, I used. I made my own symbol up once, but I'm gonna just put a P in and I'll put a link in the description for this font, Birth of a Hero. And um, make sure that it's set to 350. Just put one inch. It depends if you put in one in, uh, that'll tell you if you wanna. That'll tell you what, how large you wanna make your text, you know. And I'm happy with that. And the center of that, control A, click horizontal and vertical center, control D. And I'm gonna make that once. And I'm gonna make the blend of overlay. Okay, that's a bit weird. Uh, I don't know why that's not. Oh yeah. Maybe I'm not gonna get rid of that in the grey. And maybe I might wanna actually I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna maybe make it a uh, different colour. I shouldn't do that. Just 
ridiculous. Um, um. She looks ridiculous now. I was saying it looks cool. You should make it black. And, uh, yeah, I'm keeping it like Control T. Uh, make the angle minus 45. Just make sure it's centered again. Just keep checking that. <coughs> and, uh, hmm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, double click it. Give it out a glow of white. Make that color dark. So, you know, you can do whatever you want to it there. You might want to increase the shadows and diameter of it. Maybe make it 20, 40. And take the capacity out. Make it more warm. 45. Yeah, it's nice. Um, yeah, that'll do. So, just remember to thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So, like, comment and subscribe. Um, this is Prasaf. Um, uh, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.